What's good, y'all? It's your girl Ray Too Real, and I got Simba in the Ray, building. Ray got me out here on the golf course. We in the golf it's course. It's a beautiful day, eating good brisket. I might not leave Dallas, Texas. I mean, Texas. Jesus. How have you been enjoying Texas so far, man? Man, um, it's been great. I only been here for about three hours, but okay. within my three hours stay, I've been having a lot of fun. I've a had ball. some tequila shots. I've had some good brisket. What you talking about? Pack it up. Yeah. <laughs> Took a good drive around the golf course, hanging with you, so it's been dope. Hey, we having a good time. How has it been uh, working with DJ Drama and Generation now? Yeah, uh, it's dope, man. You know, Drama's like a legend in the, in the culture, and um, I've been knowing him for a few years now. And when we first decided to, like, do this mixtape, I wasn't who I am today. Mm -hmm. So my music wasn't up to where it is today. Right. So we, it took us some time to get there. A lot of conversations, a lot of tough talks, but he's just been like a big brother and like a mentor for me. I always said like, I'm kind of like an honorary Generation Now artist, hey, you know? <laughs> I, love, I love DJ Drama, I love Generation Now. I grew up with, you know, hearing DJ Drama yeah. that drop every yeah. time. Yeah. I know it's certified, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So how did that happen? You know, um, linking up with DJ Drama. I knew him, like I was saying, I knew him for a minute. Like we knew of each other for a minute, but when I got my deal at Atlantic, him and my A&R, Dallas Martin, they cool as well. Okay. So we kind of all would just hang out. When I dropped my first project, he hosted my release party in Atlanta. Awesome. Every time I'm in Atlanta, I record at his studio. Um, we just got a great relationship, so it only felt right for how this project came together and what it was feeling like that he'd be a part of it because he's been a part of my come up so far. And so, you know, a part of that come up, what have you had to go through? Oh, man, um, you go through it all, man. Spending money, right? shooting the wrong videos, hiring the wrong PR people. Oh. Yeah, you know. I already know how that goes. Yeah, you, you, you got to learn. You got you to gotta learn to lose to learn how to win. Right. Right? So you, you go through a lot of different things. Uh, people going to tell you they could do this, and they actually know the person that know the person that know right. the person that do it. Um, but the whole key to it is just staying in it. Right. You know what I mean? Showing up. The best ability is availability. Right. And as long as you make yourself available to the information you need to know, to the rooms you need to be around, you'll figure it out. Right. You'll and staying resilient out. through it all, too, Always. is really the key. Because it's you discouraging. Hear a lot of no's. Yeah. You don't hear a lot of bullshit. It's discouraging. But when you get to know what, what, what the game is looking like, yep. um, especially under somebody like DJ Drama. Yep. Um, I'm sure that he's guided you in the right path and just kind of let you know what's drama, good and what's not. Drama and 2 chains. 2 chains. Okay. 2 chains give me a lot of information and a lot of game. Um, he tells me a lot. Gives me just, he tells me things before they even happen. So right. when I see him, I know exactly how to go around it because of what he told me. So they've been like a very key parts in my come up for sure awesome so let me ask you this what has been the least uh exciting part of coming up um in the game and just kind of like taking your your clan with you did everybody come or is it true that you know not everybody get is able to come <clears throat> it's crazy you answered you answered your own question okay because that's literally what i was going to say uh the hardest part about it is like when you got friends that don't understand it. Right. Right. So everybody be thinking you got more than you do. Mm -hmm. Right. They thinking your life more lit than it actually is because they only seeing it on Instagram. They ain't seeing you as much. And you grow up with people sometimes. And I feel like sometimes in urban communities, we got this thing called the sin of familiarity. Mm -hmm. Right. And it's where you. it's where you can know somebody and. You might be with the next Michael Jordan and don't even know it. You might be with the next Jay-Z and don't even know it because they're your friend. Right. So when you step out of the friend zone a little bit and you start looking at them different, now you don't know how to communicate with them. You know, like life ain't the same. It's right. new people around them. You're kind of nervous and walking on eggshells about what you should say. Um, but the relationship is still the same. But Absolutely. certain people change within it. They always say, uh, people change when they get money. It's the people around them that change how they treat them. And that's where I was going with that. Yeah. You know, as you climb the totem pole, the people that remain the same yeah. and stay down and stay solid yep. in your circle is real important. Yep. Um, so do you have some day ones that you, For sure. you still you For still sure. rock with? I, I got a lot of day ones that's, that's still with me, uh, but a lot that didn't make it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? A lot of them I speak to 
every day on the phone. They just not here currently. A lot of them we speak here and there, mm -hmm. you know. So, um, and I don't look at it no different. I understand life, it detaches us sometimes. You want to go one way, they want to go another way. And sometimes life won't line up as it once did when y'all was kids, but the love is still the same and right. it's always mutual. I ain't got nobody where I could truly say I, I hate them or you know what I mean, somebody I hate that I grew up with that I was once cool with. I ain't got nobody like that, but it is people I have like kind of like detach myself from. Right, you gotta change, change within their change yeah, too. Yeah, for know? sure. And acclimating to, you know, the environment. For sure, so how's for your sure. So life been? I know you did really loud in New York. Yeah. How was that? It's dope, man, because I always say like, I'm a pandemic baby. Uh -huh. Right. So when I came out and got my deal and started dropping records, it was during the pandemic. So I was never able to do this. Like I should have met you two years ago. Right. You know but what I like, mean? We're here but we're so here now. Yeah. You know, results take time. <laughs> um, but being on tour has been great because I get to get out every night and rock with the fans. Right. I was just talking to um, somebody from my label last night. and They was like, you don't get tired. It was like, you doing like two shows a day, five, six interviews, waking up at six in the morning. I'm like, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it two years ago. So I was like a caged dog, you got just ready to get out. And then just think about it. Like there was days you prayed for times like this. Facts. Like literally to hang out with, you know, Facts. number one station. Come on, on the, course, on the golf in course, in Dallas, eating, eating brisket. brisket. Come on, Come on. It's Come no, on. It's no better howdy welcome, yeah. Texan welcome than an eat some brisket. And that's some artists, I feel like that's some artists don't take advantage of, right? Like, we got to understand, y'all is who support our music. Y'all who play our music. So if I'm in your city, it's only right that I pull up and come show some love or right. let y'all know I'm here because y'all the ones that's helping people learn who I am. Right. Sometimes we take advantage of that. We get lazy start making that money too fast, you know, and they forget it's a business, but it's like, we still got to sustain it, right. you know? So it's it's dope, man. I appreciate every opportunity, appreciate every you. interview, we appreciate you for coming everything. Out. Nah, anytime, We're I'm always pop up. up. And was able to acclimate from the Bay to DFW, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Um, what is one thing that, you know, you would like to tell your fans at DFW and just like acclimating to that, that vibe because you a real vibe, I'm not yeah. gonna lie. Like I. I've heard a lot of different artists, and you, you really caught my ear yeah. with the uh, freestyle yeah. with with um, flex. Flex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my favorite one. Yeah, yeah. I said, "Who is this guy? I yeah. gotta meet him." So, what is one thing that you you know you can give the fans going forward in DFW um, to look forward to your, your um, music? Because I, I love the project. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. We got a lot of dope music on the way, a lot of great features coming. Um, but I'm also looking to start getting into TV and film space. Love that. Uh, stepping into the sports space as well. Um, but for right now, just really owning this craft and getting better as a musician. I right. feel like it's a lot more I can learn. I feel like on this project, I kind of learned my voice. Right. Being on tour, I'm learning who the fan is. So I'm learning how to make records for them to listen to right. more and more each day. Right. So every day is, is, is something new for me. It's a learning experience. And I'm just looking to get better each and every day. Right. Yeah. So look, when you have a DFW fan base, we yeah. go hard for you. Yeah. So be ready for that. Come on. We're going to be expecting you. You know, I like year. the Mavericks too, even yeah, though I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Warriors fan. But I like, I like what the Mavericks been doing. Luca's a dog. You know, I like the adjustments y'all been making. Mark Cuban is one of my favorite owners. Look, yeah. he's the best. Yeah. He's the most cool. I literally just met Mark Cuban at um, Snoop Dogg and Ice Cube's tour okay. a couple of months ago. And he just hanging out. He got his family backstage. That's why I like him. the coolest guy you'll ever meet. So Real we definitely got to make that happen next time you yeah, come. Yeah, we, go, we got to make gonna that happen. We're going to sweet and do yeah, it up Yeah, we're going to do way. that. We're going to make sure we do and that. And then next time, you know, also the State Fair, you know. You yeah. You're going to be missing the State Fair. Today is the first day of the State Fair. I heard. Um, So you thought you tasted something here? Yeah. Wait till you go fair. to the State Fair. I'm going to try to pop over there before the show, before the show tonight or before we leave early tomorrow or something. What time you leave we'll tomorrow? We'll see. I think we leave early in the morning. Okay. Um, you know, we got State Fair Classics, so it's Gremlin versus PV, oh, two HBCs. Man, you know, it's going to be live. You're going to get a good experience. So uh, if you have time, we would love for you to stay. But I'm glad we got to spend this time together. Nah, definitely. And, same uh, here. really get to know you because 
uh, like you said, a lot of people don't get to experience this side of for sure. um, the business and for sure. really getting to know these artists um, intimately. So yeah. I appreciate no, you. I appreciate y'all for having me, man. This <laughs> was a you. great, great interview. Great setup. Great day. Yeah. yeah.